how to best support him, how to best support this team. And this whole experience, all of it's been great. Um, great for him, great for us. And uh, Well, it just got a welcome to the NBA yeah, moment right something. there. He's real thin. And then that makes me think of Greg Oden saying booey. I mean, he's going to be playing against grown men. I didn't really know what I was doing on the court tonight. He has a combination of things that we have never seen. Got to get ready for this kid, you know. Kevin Durant meets Rudy Gobert. His conditioning's not where it needs to be. His inability to react to the basketball. Matt, he's the best prospect we've seen since LeBron James. A generational talent. Skip, think about Kareem. We're going to see him participate in the All-Star game as a rookie. LeBron James was the chosen one. If you're not eventually a first-rank Hall of Famer, a lot of people will say you were a bust or overhyped. Someday, it could be another one that could be compared to me. Is Wimby the next one? Because he ain't the chosen one. We have heard it time and time again. Victor Wembenyama is the greatest prospect that the sport of basketball has ever seen. A seven foot four freak of nature who has the potential to do anything. The hype that has been generated by Victor Wembenyama has been tremendous. NBA legends have predicted his stardom. He was supposed to just walk right into the NBA and dominate. Only that's not what happened. Not only did the entire world see that Victor Wembenyama might be human, but we also saw a tremendous wave of hate after Wemby matched up against number two pick Brandon Miller and played like this. Open side, mid-range over Jones, back onto Wembenyama for three, straightaway three, working against Kai Jones, a sidestep three. Well, it just got a welcome to the NBA and moment right something. there. After this game in which he shot two for 13 and finished with under 10 points, something that, by the way, Michael Jordan did just once in his entire career with the Chicago Bulls, no one would say that this was the next GOAT prospect anymore. In fact, fans instead were saying this. The hype around this kid is the problem with today's media landscape. Bust, generational talent for sure, Rudy Gobert with handles. On top of this, the media attacked. The hate was very real for a 19 year old who had never played a real NBA game and it is here where a lot of people people fall. Most people in life, with all eyes on them, with all expectations on them, struggle. But in the NBA, the best of the best respond. Because the best do not shrink away from the hate. They have so much confidence in themselves that they know the next chance they get, they are going to strike. After a young Kobe Bryant famously airballed four crucial shots in a series ending loss to the Utah Jazz in his rookie year. Four, Bryant drives, pull out, shot on the way, no good. Cross court left, open Kobe Bryant for three, another airball. Bryant for three, it's short again, airball. Seven seconds. Here's a three pointer air ball at the end. Kobe did not fall apart due to the criticism and pressure. In fact, listen to his mindset after those misses. Why did those air balls happen? I got to get stronger. I got to train differently. The weight training program that I'm doing, I got to tailor it for an 82 game season. He knew he just needed to adjust how he played and then the results would speak for themselves. But before we continue guys, I am very excited to thank Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. And if you did not know, Brilliant is the best way to learn math, data science, and computer science interactively, which in my opinion is the best way to learn by far. I've used Brilliant and I have found it to be fun and interactive. There are thousands of lessons from basic to advanced topics and new lessons are added every single month. Now, personally, diving into the topic of data science to me was very interesting. Using Brilliant's data science program, I'm able to learn skills that help me with videos just like this one. And really that fits their message because whatever your skill level, Brilliant customizes content to fit your needs and they let you solve at your own pace. Brilliant is an essential tool for advancing your career. It is such an effective way to learn and you can get started for free for 30 days and get 20 20% off an annual plan by visiting brilliant.org slash Mike Corzemba. That is brilliant.org slash Mike Corzemba to start for free for 30 days and get 20% off your annual plan. Thank you again to Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. For now, let's get back into that video. And with Victor Wembanyama in game two, in a game where if he did not succeed, the hate would get overwhelming. We saw something rare in a bounce back game. Wemby did not do anything different. He did not have a wildly different attitude. He did not even have have a huge first quarter. Pay extra attention to the time when Victor starts to score, because once he made his first shot, the production he put up was startling. When Banyama with the midi knocks it home on the edge, 
And he got a piece of that three, much like we saw against Brandon Miller. And Benyama on the wing goes through the legs. Wemby for three. Butter. 27 points, and again, the man was all over the court. And suddenly, when we look back at game one, it's hard not to focus on sequences like this. Kai Jones, Wembenyana with good rim protection. And that's how he changes the equation, Doris. Oh my goodness, the <laughs> length is gonna take people by surprise. And how about that pass? So is he skinny? Yes. But is he afraid to put his body on the line to send back shots on the other end? Is he more than willing to dunk on everybody to send a statement and challenge guys in the paint? Yes. I think we can agree watching these highlights, a chance to not only be special, but to be the most special, the GOAT of the NBA is there for Victor Wembanyama. We have already seen, fair or unfair, the hate that this teenager will be getting if he does anything wrong. But history has proven that if he is able to stand up to this hate, Victor Wembanyama will put himself on the path to be the greatest player of all time. So what's up guys, Mike here, and today we are talking specifically about what Victor Wembanyama will need to achieve early on in his career in order to really establish himself as not just a generational prospect, but as a generational talent. And just maybe, if Luka never gets any help, the NBA's next best chance at their new Go. A lot of pressure to put on a teenager, but once the hype begins, you cannot take it back. And with this overwhelming amount of hype, some crumble while some stare the pressure in the face and let it drive them. Listen to what LeBron James was asked in high school on national television. It's not good enough to be good or an all-star. If you're not eventually a first rank Hall of Famer, a lot of people will say you were a bust or overhyped. How does that make me feel? Yeah. Just a little bit of pressure to put on a teenager, but as they say, pressure makes diamonds. Success as an early NBA player is far from a certainty. It is actually a rarity. Out of every rookie in NBA in post-merger history, just 18 of them were all-stars, and that list has gotten more and more exclusive as the years have gone on. As the 2000s have seen just two rookie all-stars in Blake Griffin and Yao Ming. Not even LeBron James or Luka Doncic were all-stars as rookies, despite becoming superstars in their second years. It is extremely difficult to adjust to the NBA quickly enough to make the all-star team. The door is open for there to be a new GOAT in the NBA. It's almost like we are waiting for someone to re-emerge as a true candidate. And the thing is, true GOATs have tremendous early success. In order for Wemby to be a GOAT candidate of the highest extreme, he is going to need to fulfill certain baseline success standards because becoming the greatest player in a sports history is no easy task. And so while making an all-star team would be impressive, only six rookies post-merger have made an all-NBA team as a rookie. And wouldn't you know it, the last man to do so was one of Wemby's future mentors in a then-rookie Tim Duncan 25 years ago. Which means the odds are very stacked against Victor here until we do consider that in terms of pro success, Victor has been operating at a tremendously high level. He has taken his pro career already as seriously as you can can take anything. Wemby's former teammates have gone on record saying that his work ethic is relentless. It is the best they have ever seen, which of course is everything we want to hear, but also the proof is right there in front of us. This season in France, Wemby averaged over 20 points per game in over 43 games. Last season in 20 games, he averaged just 8.25. In one pro season, he's averaged more than 12 points per game, more than six rebounds per game, and he's almost doubled his block total. Everyone talks about Wemby's work ethic, and that is the most telling sign that you are, of course, ready to become a star in the league. Wemby is quite literally ready to put in the work, but just as important, he loves the sport of basketball. This is his life. After his French team lost in the finals of their league, Victor came into the locker room crying. That is how passionate he is as a player. And we see that all over the court, even in the summer league. After his second game, when asked if he felt relieved due to the fact that he had played a good game with all of the pressure surrounding him, Wemby's real answer was, was there just a small part of you that was a bit relieved 
to give them the show that you gave them? I, I think the best show for, for the fans is the, is the win. I, I think I could have done more to, to, to help my team win this game. He is someone that at a young age is seemingly displaying that Michael Jordan typed locked in mindset, which to me signals that this is very much a person we should be looking out for. Currently, there is no true GOAT contender to Michael Jordan's throne. We have watched as guys like John Morant and Zion Williamson, potential faces of the league, fall off due to just stupid reasons. We don't even need to get into the reasons. They are just dumb. They do not have to do with playing the sport of basketball and trying to be the best that has ever lived. Luca has put up the numbers, he's put up the awards, but he is now about to start his sixth season on a seemingly non-contending roster. It is going to be very difficult for Luca to, at this point in his career even, start racking up the amount of MVPs and titles needed to be the true GOAT. LeBron is a 19-time All-Star, four-time MVP, four-time champ, the NBA's all-time leading scorer, and even he is not considered the GOAT. Michael Jordan's apex is going to be very hard for anyone to replicate. Two separate three-peats in an eight-year span where he also won four of his MVPs. But the hard truth about Mike's GOAT case is that he did play three years in college, so he got a bit of a late start in that way. And then as a young player, it was the Celtics who ran the East and Mike was in a Luka type situation. Horrible rosters until Scottie Pippen came and Michael Jordan may have won a title by his seventh season, but he did not win a playoff series until his fourth. Wemby can seriously emerge as a true contender to the GOAT throne if his early NBA career goes correctly. In NBA history, only three players post-merger have won the MVP in their first four seasons. Derrick Rose was on the path to true ridiculous superstardom. And the other two names on this list are Michael Jordan himself and Bill Walton, who also fell to injuries. Jordan continued on to become the greatest player ever. And again, as we said, even with this individual success, the team success took seven seasons to achieve. Putting it all together early on is extremely difficult to achieve. Even LeBron was not able to win both a title and MVP by his eighth season. Only 10 players post-merger have been able to pull off that feat, and one of them is someone who I think is a perfect look at young dominance. A perfect example of the path that Victor Wembanyama should be looking to do slightly better than if he truly wants to become the young GOAT, and that path comes in the form of a young Shaquille O'Neal. Now, Wemby might be skinny like Kareem, he might shoot like Kevin Durant, but in terms of just young dominance at the center position, look at how dominant Shaq was in his first four seasons when remember in his second season he finished fourth in the MVP voting and then in year three he led the league in scoring with 29.3 points per game he had 11.4 rebounds 2.4 blocks he shot 58 percent from the field he was second in the MVP voting he led his team to the NBA finals over Michael Jordan and he was only 22 years old now of course Shaq's career did not fully go the way of the goat but still after eight years Shaq was very well on the way Way to becoming potentially the greatest to ever play the game if he had long-term dominance in the back end. In 2004, when Shaq was just 31 and still with the Lakers, he averaged six less points per game and dropped to 21 and a half points per game for the season. He was the key second best player on another title team with the Miami Heat, but Dwayne Wade averaged 34.7 points per game in the 2006 NBA Finals, while Shaq averaged 13.7. That was not a Batman and Robin situation in any Anyway, Dwayne Wade was the clear mega superstar on that team. Meanwhile, Michael Jordan left the Chicago Bulls in 1998 as the best player in the league. And nobody would have said that the Lakers were not LeBron James' team this year. I'm sorry, Austin Reeves. The go race at the end of the day is tough. With Victor Wembanyama, we have another chance to see if someone is up to the test to beat Jordan. And the hype, of course, is very real. Wemby completely showed out in a matchup against Scoot Henderson last year in a game where if he struggled, he might not have been the number one pick, but instead he dominated to the point where he became known as the great greatest prospect in NBA history. He truly does look like a 2K player from 2014 come to life, back before they created balance and allowed you to be a seven foot demigod. And I have never ever seen higher expectations for an NBA prospect, but I truly believe in this guy. So will Victor Weminyama, a teenager who has proven so far to rise up to every challenge, rise up to the ultimate challenge of a lifetime and finally bring down the GOAT? 
that is Michael Jordan? We're about to find out. And so, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss a video in the future. We are on the road to 2 million subscribers. So it would be awesome if you could subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.